Ever since the Nine Tails resurrected within Himawari's body, the question has been, why wasn't it Boruto? Because if the reason behind this phenomenon is the presence of the Nine Tails chakra within Himawari's body, wouldn't the same apply to Boruto? Doesn't Boruto also possess the chakra of the Nine Tails? Well, the answer to that is yes, and I can prove it. You see, for this to make sense, you first need to understand that the Boruto anime tends to foreshadow future events of the manga. We first saw this with the introduction of Kage Masa and his evil eye, which is a clear reference to Boruto's Drogon. They then created a character known as Arume Funato, who had a scar on his right eye, which of course foreshadows the scar Boruto gains from Kawaki later on in the timeline. And of course, there are many other examples of this, but I'm pretty sure you guys get the point. This then leads us to around episode 127, when Boruto traveled into the past, meeting a younger version of his father, Naruto. This all happened because Urshiki used the time travel turtle to, well, time travel into the past, in an effort to extract the Nine Tails tracker from a younger version of Naruto. This then leads to Boruto interacting with Naruto in his nine tail state, which is when something very interesting occurred. You see, one isn't typically able to bypass the protective barrier of the nine tails chakra, and this was also shown in the very same episode when Urshiki tried to touch Naruto. Yet, when it came to Boruto, not only was he able to bypass the barrier and touch Naruto, but he was also able to calm him and briefly suppress the nine tails chakra. There was also a point where the chakra started to flow to Boruto's hand like a protective barrier as well. It seems as if the chakra was resonating with his. Now, this isn't just my interpretation since Jiraiya himself said that it seems as if Naruto was responding to Boruto's chakra, which implies that they are resonating. Now many of us initially thought that this was just referring to the chakra shared between a parent and a child, which somewhat makes sense. But what if that wasn't the case? What if this was just a red herring? You see, Kishimoto tends to do this all the time, he'll hint towards X equating to Y, then later have a plot to reveal in his true intentions, such as Tobi being Obito, and even Naruto ending up with Hinata instead of Sakura. So as the man himself said, a true shinobi seeks for the hidden meaning within the hidden meaning, which is exactly what we're doing today. Now this wasn't the only time we saw Boruto resonate with the Nine Tails chakra. A lot of people missed this, but it happened in the battle versus Ushiki, where Naruto, while in barren mode, grabbed Boruto using one of his tails. Now the reason why this is very significant is because of the downside that comes with barring mode, which is that it shortens the user's lifespan. And because all chakra is connected, this same power also shaves off the life of the person it comes in contact with. That's how they were able to reduce Ishiki's lifespan, which eventually led to his death. Now, I want to preface this by saying that this isn't an ability they can turn off and on or control. It's a byproduct of the form itself existing, which means that Boruto's lifespan should have been depleted during that moment as well, but it apparently wasn't. And of course, you guys can argue that it was drained and it decided not to acknowledge it, but I think it's more likely that this is just the anime hinting towards Boruto having this affinity, especially since it didn't occur in the manga. By the way, the affinity I'm referring to is of course the same affinity Himawari has with the Ninetales, which Korma believed is due to her being born with a portion of his chakra, along with also having the blood of the Uzumaki and Hyuga flowing within her body. By the way guys, we've seen this before in Naruto himself who was conceived by the Ninetales Jin Shuriki, and even the Golden Silver Brothers who consumed the stomach walls of the Ninetales. So this likely means that both both Boruto and Himawari were born with a portion of the Nine Tails chakra within their bodies. So if the Nine Tails was to reform within someone using a tether to its own chakra, the only candidates would be Boruto, Naruto, and Himawari. Now Naruto likely burnt out all of his Korma chakra with Baryan mode, which was by the way confirmed by Sakura in the anime. So as you guys can see, there's a clear theme here of the anime doing the heavy lifting when it comes to the foreshadowing of events that takes place later on in the manga. So the anime literally outright confirming that Naruto no longer has any trace of the Nine Tails chakra, the only candidates left for resurrection would be Boruto and Himawari. Now I do think it goes even deeper than that because there is a consistent theme between all these individuals, which is Hagoromo's bloodline. You see, the Golden Silver Brothers weren't the only ones who ever tried consuming a portion of a tail beast in order to gain its power. In fact, many have tried but the chakra was like poison to them which caused them to perish. Now the Golden Silver Brothers on the other hand were very special for some reason. It's also mentioned that it's possible that they had some blood relation to Hagoromo himself. This also of course extends to the Uzumaki who then possessed chakra powerful enough to contain the full nine tails which of course makes perfect sense since they're distant blood relatives of the senju which of course makes them descendants of hagaroma as well now the reason why this is important is because it establishes that the common denominator for having a strong affinity to the nine tails chakra is possessing a strong affinity to hagaroma's chakra and the reason why that makes sense is because hagaroma is of course the son of kagia by the way i've explained this like a billion times already and you guys are probably tired of hearing me saying it but kagia indeed merged with the ten as stated by Black Zetsu. 
So when Hagoroma separated the chakra of the ten tails, he was also separating portions of Kaguya's chakra, which simply means that the Biju chakra is partially Kaguya's. Now that is why having a strong affinity to Hagoroma's chakra gives you a strong affinity to Korma and the other tail beast, since Hagoroma's chakra is partially Kaguya's, since he's the son of Kaguya. Now where this really starts to get interesting is when you actually awaken Kaguya's full chakra, which can of course be done by mixing the chakra of her two sons Hagoroma and Hamura. Similar to how Madara awakened Hagoroma's chakra by mixing the chakra of his his two sons. That is how you get an even stronger affinity to Korma, which is why Korma mentioned Himawari having those two bloodlines. So it's all coming together now, right? Now this then takes us back to Boruto, who just like Himawari would also possess that stronger affinity to his chakra, which would then explain why he wasn't negatively affected by the barren mode energy while Naruto and Ishiki was. It would also explain why Korma's chakra latched onto him in the Urashiki arc and also responded to him. Now this does pose an important question. Does Boruto actually possess another Korma or does does he just have a portion of his chakra? Because we know Kishimoto teased Boruto having the Korma chakra cloak along with Mitsuki's sage mode and Sarada's Mangekyo Sharingan. So we're pretty much two other three at this point. Which means that odds of this playing out is very high, but how it's done is very important. One way I can see this playing out is Boruto having his own nine tails, but it's currently being suppressed. By the way, this has happened before in some sense since Minato was able to split the nine tails in half using the Reaper Death Seal. And not only did he then possess the chakra of the nine tails, he literally had a conscious fully sentient version of Korma inside him, completely separate from the original. Now this might be a byproduct of how the Dead Reaper seal works since it was never fully explained, but it did happen. So two separate instances of the Nine Tails can exist at the same time as seen in the war, being able to interact and share chakra with one another. That then sets the precedent for another Nine Tails manifesting within Boruto over time. Now the main problem with this is Jura not being able to sense that power. Because his entire reason for invading the village was getting to Naruto who he then believed possessed the Biju chakra he detected. So if he was able to sniff out Korma within Himawari, why didn't he sense that power within Boruto as well? Well my theory or hypothesis, whatever you guys wanna call it, is that the original Korma resurrecting through Himawari's body using her latent Kyubi chakra then made it possible for that chakra to now be detected. It's somewhat similar to how Minato sealed Kushina's chakra within Naruto along with the Ninetales, but Korma wasn't able to sense her presence until her power was activated. So it might be the case that Boruto has this power but it's locked away. And not even Momoshiki is aware of this even though he inhabits the same body, similar to the situation with Kushina and the Ninetales. Now it might also be the case that Momoshiki is fully aware of this power and he himself has chosen to suppress it. You see Momoshiki has a vested interest in Boruto not gaining any additional power. Because the more Boruto uses his power through karma, the easier it is for Momoshiki to take control of his body. Which is likely why Boruto no longer uses the karma seal. This of course is similar to how Korma would purposefully feed Naruto his power and make it difficult for him to master other techniques. He wanted him to become dependent on him since the more Naruto used his chakra, the more the seal itself would weaken. Now in Momoshiki's case, not only does it make it easier for him to take control of Boruto if he uses the Karma Seal, it's also easier for him to possess his body if he runs low on Chakra. This was seen moments after the fight with Ishiki Otsutsuki, when Momoshiki possessed Boruto's body and used it to destroy Sasuke's Renegade. He was only able to do this because Boruto was low on power. Which is also why he then avoided absorbing attacks, since refilling Boruto's chakra would then allow Boruto to regain control. So if Boruto knew about this other pool of chakra, that being the Ninetales, he would always have an immense pool of chakra to pull from, thus preventing that from ever happening again. So it makes sense why Momoshiki would suppress that power if he was able to detect it. Now the other possibility is that Boruto does possess the chakra of the Ninetales but it isn't sentient. So it would be similar to how Naruto was able to extract the Ninetales chakra and store it in a separate portion of his body or a separate section of his body. This then allowed him to tap into that power whenever he pleases thus being able to enter KCM without the assistance of the Ninetales itself. So it is more likely that the reason why Jura was able to sense Korma's presence within Himawari is because of the existence of the Ninetales itself which of course he can sense due to them both being bijus. While Boruto on the other hand only possesses a portion of the Ninetales chakra which sleeps deep within him. Now I could be wrong and Kishimoto just changed his mind from his own original concept art which had Boruto using KCM. Or maybe it's just the Jogan chakra mode which I discussed in this video a few weeks ago. It could go either way, who knows. One thing I do know is that a lot of Boruto fans aren't a fan of the idea which I understand. I mean even though I can go through all of the lore to explain why it makes sense for this to happen, that doesn't mean I want it to happen. 
happen, okay? I would rather Himawari be the only one with Korma's chakra or Korma's power going forward. I would much rather Mitsuki be the only member of Team 7 that has Sage Mode. And I would much rather every member of Team 7 not be a Lightning style user, but it is what it is. If it happens, I won't lose sleep and I'm sure you guys won't either since this is a good side of the fandom, you guys understand stuff. But yeah guys, let me know your thoughts on the video down below. Do you think it makes sense, you know, the connections that I'm making here? Is it a reach or whatever? I, I don't think it is, you know, but you know, you guys can have your own opinions. But of course, explain why in detail in the comments so we can have a conversation. But yeah, if you guys like the video, drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.